Okay, so here we are with our, we left off here, we, uh, we got to the, I'm going to send this to uh, three. Uh, we loaded our favorite theme. Uh, you, again, you can just uh, go, go through all of your, uh, just uh, cd.config, awesome themes, ls. So you can plug all these in. Some of these will break, uh, will break awesome and you might lose some of your buttons you might not be able to hit restart you might uh, get a bunch of errors if that's the case just open up a terminal terminal and do kill all uh, make the change back to default or whichever one you know works in uh, gedit uh, awesome and uh, this will go back to your login manager so if you get stuck and you get a bunch of things that say, oops, something happened, and all your buttons up here disappear, that's how you do it. Uh, so if you break something pretty badly, uh, that should get you out of it. <clears throat> so you pick the, the theme that you like, and so now we're going to try to change the background and these icons. So let's do a sudo gedit. And there are two files that we're going to be working with. Uh, the first one is going to be RC Lua at in your uh, config file, and we're also going to go to your uh, favorite theme and open up that RC uh, theme .lua. So. What we want to do first is change the background. So what it does is it looks in the theme directory uh, at home and config. So this is going to use what's in your home and config. And it's going to go after, here's your uh, icon that it uses, and here's the background. So we're going to go change background.jpg. So let's go to, I happen to have... Uh, well, first off, let's uh, let's get you a you know, file manager. Let's just do Yaourt PC Man FM. I already have it installed, so you know PC Man FM is a decent uh, decent uh, file manager. And now let's go and uh, I believe I have a wallpaper in here that I wanted to use. Uh, let's look at uh, which view we want. Um, view compact. So this is a PNG file. So now we're going to, uh, if you have a PNG a file you really like that's a PNG, we're going to make it a JPEG. So let's go ahead and uh, um, I didn't do anything there. I'm going to close that without saving. Close it out saving and reopen it because I don't know what I just did. Okay, so yeah, so I want to change that. So we're going to um, Yaourt GIMP, and I already have that installed, but uh, that way we can adjust the images. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Run GIMP. Pause it to install that if you'd like. And we're going to open. And uh, we have wallpaper. We're going to open that. And it's in the right uh, dimensions 1440 by 900. And we're going to uh, export. And we're going to call it background. Now let's change the type first. Let's go to uh, JPEG. And we're going to go call it background.jpg. And <coughs> quality, uh, shouldn't worry about size, seems to be fine. Use defaults, export. So now we should have our background.jpg. It should be very much like, let's go ahead and close this. Discard changes. Should be very much like background.jpg here. So let's open up another PC man FM. This one is going to be, let's go ahead and put it in tiling so we can actually see it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put
but let's step through here so we can see a little better. All right, so we have close this, minimize it. I mean, we need to put background.jpg. So let's go to uh, hidden folders here. Uh, Control H. Go to config. Uh, go to awesome. Themes. Arch. Background.jpg. So we should be able to. Let's go ahead and copy. Paste. And we'll just call it copy. Okay, so what we might need to do is uh, open up another. Let's just try to get through this back to the floating. We're going to have to open up a sudo. Oh, what happened? Sudo PC man FM. And we're going to close this one. Because we need to be able to. Uh, Go back to where we just were, and your favorite theme. <clears throat> we need to be able to make changes here. Uh, didn't mean to open that. Copy, paste, and call that copy. Okay, so now we have a copy. Now we're going to copy this one more time this new background.jpg that we just made. Paste it in there. We're going to overwrite it. And we're going to cross our fingers and reload. And there's our new background. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, icons and it's going to look for awesome 16. Do we have an awesome 16 dot uh, png that we need to deal with. So let's look at, uh, I have a set of icons here. And I have an awesome 16. So I'm going to copy this. Again, you want to copy it just in case, uh, you know, later on you want to uh, <coughs> revert back to it. Never, no reason to write over it completely. I always make backups if you can. So there's your copy. So now we can go ahead and copy this. Let's just copy this way so you can see it. And we're going to paste it. And we're going to overwrite it. Go back over here and restart. And there we go. Now we have the arch on both of these. Uh, it also works here. Um, yeah, so now what do we want? So those are both done. Uh, we're done with the image managing now. Um, you know, if you would rather have the, the round circle, I don't know, let's take a look at it. Um, let's, well, that's, yeah, we'll just uh, copy, paste, and we'll call it. Uh, let's cancel that. Cancel. And we'll rename it. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Dash one. And we'll copy this. Actually, let's rename it. And we're going to call it Awesome 16. And let's copy that in there. Overwrite. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like the other one a little better, so we'll we'll undo that. Uh, let's call this dash two. Bring this back to awesome sixteen. Copy, paste, overwrite, and reload. Uh, 
maybe uh, maybe you want to change a couple other things. So the RC, the theme dot Lua, we're pretty much done with that for now. Um, not a whole lot more you need to do here. Uh, menu size. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 150, just because we're going to be writing in a few more uh, menu items. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, when I reloaded, it killed my uh, FFmpeg again. I've done a little bit since my last video, so I gotta take that to six. Basically, what I did is sudo gedit. So, got a few things done here. I changed the uh, title of the and number of workspaces. Now we're done with the theme dot lua. So just hover over there, you'll see it's the main rc dot lua. So I did a few things here. Um, did some off uh, auto start. Um, this is Compton. Uh, you can do uh, XCOMP Manager and it works pretty well, but every once in a while you'll get some hinting and some artifacts of like as you drag, it'll leave like this trail of at the edges. Sometimes it's a little glitchy. Compton's up to date. So, you know, if I were to show you this, I'm going to minimize this one. And I uh, just do a, a Yaourt Compton. It's a composite manager, um, and it's pretty up to date, you know, 12, 0, 9, 26. So this seems to work really well. Uh, no problem there. Sometimes it'll get a little gummed up, and you have to kill all Compton. If you reload uh, too many times, if you go, come here and, and restart too many times, then it'll, it'll get gummed up, and you just have to kill all, and then re restart one more time, and it'll be all, so, you know, if you're turning it on too many times, if it's already on, it'll get gummed up. So anyways... What I did uh, to get to here is I added this auto start, this awful. So basically, if you go to, uh, I have this on a menu now, and we'll get to that next. But uh, you go to uh, the awesome website. This is just, uh, I don't even think I kept this. I just basically do uh, awesome window manager wiki. And it's just right here. And I favorited it. Check and make sure it's still working. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you go come down here to uh, auto start. And there's a few different ways to do it. I do the easy way, or the simple way. Uh, so here's an, an example. You can do a bunch of stuff. So I have uh, wicked starting with GTK and Compton. Uh, that's pretty pretty simple. Uh, next thing I did was uh, I copied the tags for the number of uh, workplaces and I pasted that back in. Of course, I commented it out uh, and I just used Roman numerals. Make sure that if you don't use numbers, you put quotes around them or you'll crash Windows or uh, awesome. <clears throat> I just left six in there because that's really all I've ever needed. <laughs> Uh, the next thing I did is I added, uh, at first I took out the manual and edit config because I never use either one. Just two little dashes will do that. And I, I added file manager, public control, and Firefox. And you just make sure that there are commas afterwards. That everything's in quotes. Uh, the next fat step after this will be icons. So when you come here, there'll be icons like this was, like this has. Um, of the icons for all these if you want. But that's a little trickier because you have to point it to the right place. Um, I haven't gotten that to work. I haven't worked hard at it, but once I get it working on my desktop, I'll, I'll bring it in here. <clears throat> so next, uh, let's see, what can we do? A um, little bit of appearance. So let's get, us, let's get some themes. Um, let's just do my, one of my favorites. There are two of them, so I have... Uh, our dark GTK. I have two of these that I like. One is DeLorean Dark 7. And the other one is Plastic. Where's Plastic? Right there. 22. I like DeLorean Dark. Probably overall looks great. Uh, but when you open up like LibreOffice, it, it looks pretty awful. It's a gray or black sheet, and uh, plastic's pretty nice, pretty dark, and it has white for spreadsheets and documents. So all around, both of those are 
two really good dark themes. So let's go ahead and install these. <clears throat> so there's a better way to do this, but uh, let's go to the main page. The next thing we're going to do is appearance. And if you go to the very bottom, customizing GTK apps. So let's go ahead and use our, um, uh, I'm not sure I showed you this, I think I did, but this uh, add-in, uh, add-on is called uh, Vivium, is what I'll be using now. So, so you just hit uh, F to follow, and customizing GTK apps, you just hit DA. And we'll eventually get this, well, once we get this set up, then I'll transition back to uh, Slim. But we're going to set this kind of stuff up where you have a GTK2 and GTK3 support. And then you're, you're able to do um, decent theming without, uh, without GDM loading everything for you. And then we'll go through and purge all the GNOME stuff out of there. Except for maybe GNOME Terminal, which doesn't have much, if any, um, GNOME uh, dependencies. So, <coughs> while we're waiting for that... Uh, you know, if you go to say, uh, just kind of a, uh, you go to Arch Linux, follow uh, forums fs, follow cs for search, and just do awesome uh, fonts, and some of these, well, one of them in here uh, they talked about. Uh, Mm -hmm. well, I saw one in here about uh, font appearance in in uh, awesome, and they recommend LX appearance, and it seems to work okay except for the GTK3, like our uh, Pabu control. Uh, so let's go ahead and load Pabu control and make sure. <laughs> nice. Recording's doing well. It is okay. Um, some of the GTK3 stuff uh, doesn't work, so let's first run. Help you to get out of there. Uh, let's add Pabu Control to our menu, or sorry, LX Appearance. So let's uh, hit Enter here. Let's copy this line. Control C, Control V. Let's do Appearance. And let's put LX up here, and let's go back to the terminal, and let's do, probably have to install it, don't you think? So let's do Yawert LX appearance. And I think the one I used, appearance 2 dash git, which is 5. Always use the newest, pretty much in general. Mm, waiting on this here. Yeah, so if we uh, if we go to our back and we do where all this stuff is, so you know you do uh, let's take a look at let's do uh, LSA. So when you look in here, you have some uh, cd.config. You can see that there is some GTK stuff in here. So So uh, we just installed LX Appearance. It is now on our uh, menu. So we'll go to Appearance, and uh, yeah, I crashed my video recorder again. So here's here's DeLorean Dark. So it comes with uh, Adwata. So this is 
Uh, this is the this is what we come with normally. Uh, we install installed plastique and uh, Delorean Dark. Uh, this is my favorite normally. Uh, this is unfortunately only going to change your GTK2 uh, applications. So say like your uh, Pavu control is not changed. That might be a QT uh, uh, form here, uh, but I, I can't remember. I think it's I think it's GTK something. But anyways, uh, some of your stuff will change. Your file manager is changed now, but some of the stuff isn't. So at this point, <clears throat> I think it's a good place to stop. So uh, there's your interface to change uh, fonts or colors and everything. So as of now, uh, I think we're good. The next video we can talk about. Uh, well, it's mostly a pretty pretty much a working awesome system now and may come back and figure out how to do these types of changes and uh, let's see I think also yeah so so wicked is wicked is transformed some of the stuff isn't changed so I'm gonna work on that a little bit see if I can't figure out how to get around that and we'll talk to you next time